Former President Trump isn't officially running in 2024, but he is going to a state that is key if he chooses to hit the campaign trail again. He's holding a rally at the Iowa State Fairgrounds tomorrow, and it looks like he may have a warm reception. A new Des Moines Register Mediacom Iowa poll shows 53 percent of Iowans have a favorable view of Mr. Trump. 45 percent have an unfavorable view. Nick Coltrane joins me now. He's a data and politics reporter for the Des Moines Register. Nick, welcome. Great to have you with us. So besides this rally, what moves has Mr. Trump been making in Iowa? Yeah, so aside from this rally, um, he's recently hired two Iowa Republicans, um, with, or, yeah, two Republican operatives with deep ties to Iowa, Eric Branstad and Alex Lackman. Um, Mr. Branstad, he was a key player in Mr. Trump's uh, campaigns in both 2016 and 2020. And Mr. Lackman, uh, he was a special assistant to the president while he was in the White House. And so in terms of this rally, how many people are expected to attend? Do we have a sense of the numbers? I have not heard any firm uh, estimates on how many people will be attending the rally. I would not be surprised to see if it was in the thousands, given the venue and how nice the weather is supposed to be, and given Mr. Trump's support in the state. So... You know, we should mention, you know, we, we mentioned that poll at the top there. We should point out that, uh, you know, people polled were not asked, would you vote for Mr. Trump? They simply asked whether or not they had a favorable or unfavorable view. Um, has that, though, shifted in the state over the past several months? Yeah, this is uh, the best poll that Mr. Trump has had in Iowa since we've been asking about uh Trump as a politician. Um, the last time he was at 50 percent was in March. It's the first time he had 50 percent favorability ratings in the state. And now he's at 53 percent. And then underlying that, given Iowa's position in the nominating process for the Republican Democratic parties, um, the fact that 91 percent of Republicans have favorable rate feelings toward Mr. Trump, which is a higher percentage of Republicans than Senator Chuck Grassley has. Um, I think that's pretty striking. It should be uh, indicator of what kind of reception you might have on Saturday, or could be an indicator. And so remind us, if you will, of the other potential 2024 candidates who have been making visits to Iowa recently. Yeah, absolutely. So, of course, uh, nothing is sensed on. I don't know of anybody who's formally declared yet. We still have a couple of years before we can start seeing those moves start to happen. But we've been getting visits from Ambassador Nikki Haley, who's also the former governor of South Carolina, of course, uh, former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, who served under Trump. Uh, Senators Rubio, Cotton, and Cruz have also been pretty frequent visitors to this state, um, especially considering it's you know 2021 and we're not waiting. We're still three years out from the next nominating contest. And what do Iowans think of President Biden? Was he mentioned in this most recent polling? Uh, he was, and uh, he is having the inverse reception to what Mr. Trump is saying in the state. Uh, of course, Trump having the best polling that he's had in Iowa it comes as Biden is President Biden is having the worst polling he's had in the state. Uh, Thirty-one percent approve of the job he's doing as president versus sixty-two percent who disapprove. Um, that's a big change from the last time we pulled this question, which was in June, when he had 43% approval and 52% disapproval. So um, already bad numbers are going worse for the president here in Iowa. All right, numbers in flux. Nick, Nick Coltrane, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your insight. Absolutely. Thank you for having me.